How's it going? Welcome to Waco World. This week we are going to talk about red cups and what Starbucks did. Um, are they a part of the war being waged on Christmas? I, uh, I do believe there is one being wa uh, waged on Christmas. There's a war waged on Christmas. But is Starbucks a part of that? We're just going to look about a look at some things. This all started really to implode um, when Josh Fearsign, a, a fellow online pastor, um, made a video where he went to Starbucks and he was appalled that they didn't have Merry Christmas on there. So he told them his first name was Mary, his last name was Christmas. And then he said we should go ahead and instead of uh, boycotting them, we should just show Starbucks that, you know, we won't stand for this and put, you know, take a picture and put hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks. That's where this really all started. By the way, on a side note, I'm a firearms enthusiast. I believe in the Second Amendment. And what you did there, Josh, if you ever see this, man, that was not cool. You brandish your firearm. That is why people look down on us uh, and, and and just, yeah, not cool. Not cool. Think about what you're doing. That's all I got to say on that. Going back to the red cups. This is the facts of what Starbucks put out there. Starbucks removed uh, pretty much everything they had last year, and they just made basically – they wanted just to have a warm red color, I think is what it said. I don't know how a color can be warm. It's, it's a color. Anyways, um, maybe it makes people feel warm. I don't know. Uh, it's probably just the coffee. But um, anyways, uh, they did, They just they said that it was more of a, a seasonal color that br is wanting to bring in the holidays and so on and so forth. Um, but again, I'm asking the question, are they a part of waging the war on Christmas? I don't believe they are. God only knows that if the truth is that they are trying to compromise to fit what everybody in and around the season believe in. Um, for example, last year they had a bunch of things on their cups. They had snowflakes, I think. They had trees. They had reindeers. They had all kinds of crazy things. Here's the thing, though. They removed Merry Christmas. Why are people like me that believe in Jesus Christ so up in arms about it? And again, I jumped on this bandwagon until I received some counsel on this. I really don't see the big idea now, why why we are. And the reason for that is because today's day and age, and a lot of Christians are a part of this, Christmas has little to nothing to do with Jesus. And here's a fact on that. The 25th is to remember that God loved us so much that he came down and dwelled in the flesh just to die for his creation, to show us the way, to rebuild the, the gap, the bridge from religion to relationship with him to fix that. But that most likely didn't happen on the 25th of December. That's just when we commemorate. And there's, there's, there's things behind that. I encourage you to check out the link um, uh, on a video I did last year that talks about Yule, basically is what it is, or December, on where the traditions that really come from. For, for example... Uh, the Christmas tree was actually outlawed in America for a very long time because of his pagan background. But back to what I was saying about Jesus. Jesus most likely wasn't born um, in December. He was probably born somewhere around August to October, around the Feast of Trumpets probably. But we take the 25th to celebrate him. Do I give gifts and stuff like that? Absolutely. Back to the, Christ the, the cups. Why are we so up in arms? About them taking away Merry Christmas when Christmas today has nothing to do with basically with Jesus. Very little of it does. And truth be told, you know, if you guys want to split hairs here, look at the Starbucks logo. I know I know a few people that drink Starbucks Starbucks religiously. I mean, I'll use that terminology. Like I mean that's their place where they go get their caffeine. That's their place where they go get coffee. Go look at the goddess on the front of the cup. If you want to split hair, hairs here, we're all offended by a company with a pagan god on it that removed Merry Christmas. You put money into that that image. I'm just saying. Were we all offended last year when they uh, when they had the pagan images on there and Merry Christmas? No. But the very fact that now it's basically a naked red has nothing on there besides the logo everybody's losing their minds here's the thing if your faith is shaken 
And I love these posts that I, I've saw. If your faith is shaken so much because they removed Merry Christmas and you're all up in arms about that, you make Jesus very small. You make God very small. You make him about as small as that coffee cup. You know how many times in the Old Testament his own people, Israel, went against him? Or just completely try to run away from him? But no, he was loving enough and gave grace. And still worked on their behalf. I mean, he delivered them out of slavery from Egypt. I mean, he, again, if your faith is shaken by a coffee cup, I ask you, what do you truly believe? Again, I, I do believe that there is a war waged on Christmas. Do I think Starbucks had something to do with it? Maybe. But am I, am I going to lose sleep over it anymore? No. Should the world wake up and understand that this is not a big eye this is not a big deal, especially with Christmas traditions, has nothing to do with Jesus in the first place. Very little. I mean, come on. But in the following weeks, we're we're gonna talk about how there is a war on Christmas and where that's really coming from. What I mean by that is we're gonna dig into the Freedom from Religion Foundation because I have yet, and I may be wrong this, but I have yet to see where they went after something other than Christianity. They removed the activity scenes. They removed the Ten Commandments from schools. They do a lot of things that actually would wage war in, in, against Christmas as I would celebrate Christmas as it is to remember the greatest gift that uh, was given to me is that forgiveness and salvation through Jesus Christ. And that activity scene and, you know, those types of things are are being minimized. That's where the war on Christmas is. And also it's turning into greed. Technically, it's November 12th right now. Yet there's there's Christmas decorations coming up all over. It's, it's all about the sales coming up on Black Friday. Yeah, I can understand you want to give gifts to your loved ones. But if that's where you base your Christmas off of. And it's not the same Christmas that I celebrate. God bless you all. Hey guys, real quick. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do this because I love Jesus Christ and I want to share that love with as many people as I can. The sad fact is, and this is not every single Christian and believer or church out there, there are hypocrites. And when people are lost, broken, and just hurting in need of Jesus Christ, they walk into some churches and they're condemned and judged from the first sight and they want nothing to do with God afterwards. Even if that's not the case, online ministry is a tool to reach people where they're at in the comfort of their home, on their cell phones, or on the go. This is only made possible if you share this video. This is not about me. I'll be honest, I look at the likes, I look at the subscribes, I look at the shares because I want to see where this is being heard across the world and who it's impacting. And with that, Wake Up World Ministry is titled The Way It Is. It's to wake up the world to the love of Jesus Christ. God has put on my heart to network with other online ministries and ministries in general to make that possible. I love the saying by Tecumseh, a single twig will break, but a bundle of twigs is made strong. In God's word, it talks about the individual parts of the body of Christ. There's different callings and different ministries and different roles and so on and so forth. But nonetheless, the common is, is we are the body of Christ and Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. And we love him and we want others to know of his love. Imagine if we started working together, the impact that we can make on this world, sharing the love of Jesus Christ with as many people as we can. Help me help you and vice versa you and me so we can make that possible. Again, it's not about us. It's about Jesus Christ and the ones that need him. If you're interested in that, no matter if you have a current world event video and you're sounding the alarm for the return of Jesus Christ or a Bible study or an online church, we can work together to help lead people to Jesus. If you're interested, my email is in the description box. God bless.